I asked you guys on my Instagram, if there was no National Firearms Act of 1934, what would you choose for home defense and why? Here are some of your best and memeiest answers. The first was, full auto high peasy, that's easy. This is a stupid idea. All right, so let's talk for a second about why I absolutely hated this answer. First of all, Rye Hop, it was the first answer I got. I bet you took pride in the fact that you commented first on this post and commented this stupidity. Second of all, with no National Firearms Act, you could get machine guns, short-barreled shotguns, short-barreled rifles, really anything, and you chose that. Like, if there was not a National Firearms Act, there really wouldn't be any reason why you couldn't get a, like, a pipe submachine gun, like what an MP40 or a grease gun is, for like 150 bucks, but instead you chose a full auto high point, and also you called it a high peasy, so like that's number two on that list of why I hate it. Three, this got nine likes. Like, I know nine likes isn't very much, but for this post, it was one of the top comments, which, I, again, I hate. Finally, hi peasy, that's easy. You made it rhyme, dude. Seriously? I really hated this, but also it was pretty golden, so I had to include it anyway. Number six, the great skate mate said, A10 Warthog, because you can't rob my house if there's no house. This is honestly pretty good reasoning. You know, you got that burp of the A10, your house is probably on fire. Maybe got a new sunroof. I mean, he's got a good point. You can't rob it. All right, Silver Sniper 927 and Cobjo 101 both said the AA-12, but for different reasons. First of all, because why not? Great reason to do anything, am I right? Except for create dinosaurs. Second of all, they can confidently scare them off with beanbag rounds. Now, like, if you're looking for a less lethal option, a beanbag machine gun is pretty good for the less lethal option. Like, it's not going to kill anybody, but it will make sure that they never come back into your house. So... I approve of that one. Rocky YG said he would have a Browning 1919 A6 because he only needs to be at the top of his staircase. If you're in the type of setting where you can be in one place, like, this is a pretty great option. Also, I'd like to throw this out there. It's fun for the whole family. Like, you can teach your kids how to be your reloader, to bring you more ammo belts. You know, it can be a, a family exercise and trust and, and friendship and all these really great things. Like, Good job. I'm really proud of you for, you know, sticking with your family. The family that defends the home together stays together. All right, number three. I chose this as number three because I think it's both, it, it bridges the gap between practical and aesthetic, and that is a select fire Uzi with that sexy wood stock and a full auto Mauser M712 Schnell foyer. These are pretty great answers because they look cool and they're actually fairly practical, like the Chanel Foyer is a 20-round detachable magazine. The Uzi is, I don't know, 20 or 30. I don't know exactly. I'm not an expert on that. But in either case, it's as submachine guns. You've got a lot of rounds of a small thing really fast. They're kind of like that PDW category. Really great for home defense if you've got to do a lot of moving. Number two, probably the most practical, a shorty 300 blackout. Select fire, you know, you can get that machine gun now since you have the freedom. They, a lot of these guys mentioned having a can or a suppressor on there, and that's kind of a thing up for debate that you guys can talk about in the comments if you want to. But 300 Blackout is good because it's got good ballistics inside the home. It's not going to overpenetrate too far. But if you need to go outside, you can still engage to a somewhat reasonable range for still making sense defending your home. All right, finally, my personal favorite answer. Selectively placed claymores. If he makes it through, I'll let him have whatever he wants. I only hope he remembers how he made it through and he leaves. The image of this is just hilarious. Arming all of these claymores around your house before you go to bed so that if somebody comes in in the middle of the night, they'll have a nasty surprise waiting for them. It's pretty funny. Although the only problem is what happens if you forget where they all are, then you've got trouble with that too. Our question for next time that you can comment down below is this. If Ian McCollum was actually in the next John Wick movie, you know, that's been a thing we've been talking about recently. If he was actually in the next John Wick movie, what gun would you want or what gun do you think he would give John Wick to use? When I got to 100 subscribers, I wanted to give away a pocket monkey. It's a little multi-tool that you can stick in your wallet. I have one and I got a second one, so I wanted to give it away to one of you. So at 100 subscribers, I'll do a video about how that works.